The two observatories paired under the Ariane fairing together constitute a joint program that has taken over 10 years to develop. It is the most valuable space science payload that Europe will have ever launched. Riding at the summit is Herschel at over 7 metres in height, the biggest of the two spacecraft. With its 3.5 meter primary mirror, the largest telescope ever put in space, and with its three far infrared and sub-millimeter supercooled instruments, it will investigate the cold invisible universe and notably how stars and galaxies form and how they evolve. To the naked eye, our local universe can sparkle with intense colors. In the Milky Way, for instance, the Carina Nebula offers a profusion of visible activity, stellar nurseries, dying stars and swirling clouds of matter. Slightly repoint an optical telescope in this same region of the Southern Cross and you will distinguish a somber patch from which little light shines. This so-called coal sack is certainly not empty. Clouds of thick, cold gas and dust are obscuring the view. It is such regions that Herschel will unveil. If the life and death of stars is well understood, their conception, the conditions in which interstellar dust clouds coalesce and concentrate material to give birth to one, producing its own energy, is still much of a mystery. Our understanding of galaxies also remains incomplete. Why do some abound in star nurseries and others appear calm? How do they evolve over time, with some dwarf galaxies, theoretically the oldest, harboring stellar populations that are younger than in more massive but older ones? Herschel will systematically study this vast zoo of galaxies in the nearby universe. It will also map the distribution and analyze the composition of those remote galaxies in the far distant early universe, witnessing epochs of galaxy evolution that cannot be studied locally. It will be opening the book on the cardinal period of cosmic history that gave rise to most of the stars that have been formed. More modest in size, but no less a jewel of technology, Herschel's companion will also be travelling back in time. Planck will survey the cosmic microwave background, a fossil light that pervades the entire universe and which is detectable at radio wavelengths. Following two earlier spacecraft, COBE and WMAP, Planck is a third generation mission to investigate this radiation. Its telescope and two refrigerated instruments will scan the heavens with a far greater sensitivity and sharpness, drawing up over six month spans complete surveys of this relic radiation stemming from the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang. Current models in cosmology assume that in this deep distant past the universe was extremely hot and uniform. Over time it has expanded and cooled, but in those very first instants slight gravitational instabilities allowed it to evolve in a non-uniform way, notably enabling over time the formation of galaxies. The sensitivity of Planck's instruments will be able to detect these minute fluctuations in the density of this primordial universe, measuring temperature differences of the order of a few millionths of a degree. Identifying the seeds and conditions which over billions of years have given rise to the present-day universe will also allow astrophysicists to shed light on still obscure phenomena or processes an accelerated phase of expansion called inflation, the nature and the influence of dark energy and matter, and the origin of gravitational waves. As in all scientific investigation, and particularly in fundamental physics and cosmology, the data collected by the two missions will allow astronomers to complete their pictures and astrophysicists to plug certain holes in their standard theories. Yet big surprises cannot be excluded, with unexpected phenomena or extra dimensions coming to light.